Welcome back to your cleaning process for your machine learning tutorial series. Now I did want to mention that some of this information was taken from machine learning and data why is it so hard to remember? Machine learning for predictive data analytics book which I have um, not really based the series on but used it as a learning material. So one of the percentages I'm going to use in this video I got from that book. Okay, let's get started. We're going to be talking about missing values. Missing values are known as nulls. So when something is null, it is missing a value. So when we are going through the process of building our analytics base table, some of the features, for example, we might have one column that has a lot of nulls when we're looking at all of the different rows. This is a problem. As we lose values for a particular feature, the feature becomes less useful. I mean, think about it. If we had a million people and we're trying to figure out if people are likely to have diabetes, and we have a feature in here, and only one person has a value for that feature, and everyone else doesn't have anything for that, well, that's not going to contribute a whole lot to our process. If everyone has a value, well, then we can use that in figuring out correlations between the descriptive features and the target feature. So, the less null values, the more useful. Now, the book recommends that if there is a particular feature where 60% of values, so you look at all the different instances, if 60% are missing, meaning you have 60% null, then you just want to remove the feature altogether. So, if 60%, then boom, gone. And that way, we don't have that extra feature to complicate our machine learning process since it's not really contributing a whole lot anyways. Now this figure might vary and you can reference the book if you want to learn all of the details. So this is looking at the feature view, which is going from top down. But now I want to look at the instance view, which goes from left to right. So we are going to look at one particular instance. So if we are looking at one person, and what I specifically want to look at is the target feature. So down here we have the target feature, which is whether or not they had diabetes in their lifetime. And remember, this is all historical data. If we look at that target feature right here, and it's missing its value, well then the process is to just remove that person altogether. And the reason we do that is because that person does not contribute extra information. Think about it, it makes really good sense. If we had one million people, and we're trying to figure out if someone is likely to have diabetes based on the data of these million people. And we, we find out that, you know, 900,000 of them, well, they died, we don't know if they had diabetes or not. Well, that means all of their descriptive features about them, we can't correlate that to whether they had diabetes or not. So their actual data is useless to us. So we just, we just get rid of them. <laughs> sorry guys, I know you're like still important and stuff, but sorry, okay. So now we just have 100,000. And this is going to unfortunately reduce our data set, but it's going to get rid of all that extra data that we don't really need for the machine learning process. To reiterate on that, if we had one of those people where we don't know if they had diabetes or not, and then we have, according to our data set, an exact copy of this person, but in the present. Like, we look back at the historical data, and there is someone who has all the same descriptive feature values as Caleb here. You know, he's, he's male, he's under 50, he's extremely good looking. All of those things match up perfectly. So this is that old guy who died, and this is me. And I'm trying to figure out if I'm likely to have diabetes. Well, we don't know if this guy had diabetes, so we're not able to predict on me whether or not I'm likely to have diabetes. So unfortunately, I'm, I just can't know, and his data is useless to us. So that's all I got for missing values for this video. In the next video, we're going to be talking about a very cool process that will help us with missing values, but I just wanted to dedicate a whole video to it by itself. So please be sure to check that out and be sure to subscribe as that really helps out this channel. Thank you guys, and I will catch you 
in the next video.